Breaking news this morning, dramatic developments happening in Israel. The militant group Hamas firing thousands of rockets into the country. Smoke and flames seen rising from multiple sites that were hit. The death toll is rising. Israelis seen taking cover as sirens wailed across the country. Israel declaring a state of war, saying a number of Hamas militants have infiltrated the country from the Gaza Strip. There are reports that civilians were barricaded in their homes with Hamas gunmen going door to door in one Israeli village. Benjamin Netanyahu calling it a murderous surprise attack, calling up reserves and warning that Hamas will pay a heavy price for its actions. Retaliation already underway. We have team coverage this morning, beginning with our chief global affairs correspondent, Martha Raditz. Martha, good morning to you. And I mean, we're talking about a country completely caught off guard. Uh, we sure are. The scale of these attacks, waves of attacks are absolutely stunning. But perhaps what is most stunning is that Israel was apparently taken completely by surprise. This morning, Israel under attack. Palestinian militant group Hamas launching a massive, unprecedented military operation. From the air, firing what they claim are more than 5,000 rockets and long-range missiles, some slamming into cities in southern Israel. <laughs> Sirens wailing, with Israeli cities now on high alert. Huge, thick clouds of black smoke in the sky, residents taking cover wherever they can. Israeli rescue services saying at least 40 Israelis killed, hundreds injured. Images on social media showing dozens of heavily armed Palestinians on motorbikes and in pickup trucks infiltrating Israeli settlements near the border, shooting at passers-by. Israeli TV reporting Hamas capturing at least 35 Israelis, including soldiers, holding them hostage. The Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu declaring to the country, we are at war and we will win calling up tens of thousands of reservists. The Israeli defense minister saying Hamas is making a grave mistake, warning they will pay a heavy price, with fighter jets already pounding Hamas targets in Gaza. Hamas's spokesperson calling the coordinated attack Operation Al-Aqsa Storm, telling all Palestinians to take up arms and fight, carrying it out in revenge and in retaliation for the way they say Palestinians are treated. Israel, of course, has the Iron Dome in place, those air defenses, but the massive amount of rockets and missiles simply overwhelmed the system. And right now you have Israeli military scrambling to respond, guys. Scrambling to respond, Martha, thank you. And now let's bring in Lama Hassan in London. Lama, you have been covering this region extensively. And as you heard Martha there saying, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says not only are we at war, but that they'll win. Yeah, good morning to you, Janae. Well, I have to tell you that in all my years of covering the Middle East, and I've also lived in the Middle East, I have never seen anything like this. It is very, very clear that this is a well-coordinated, well-planned, probably months in the making, surprise attack that was carried out by Hamas, catching the Israeli Defense Forces by surprise. And people I've spoken to are shocked. They say that they couldn't believe that Hamas militants who come from one of the poorest areas in the Palestinian territories, from Gaza, which has been under siege for decades, that they've been able to carry out this military operation, that they are shocked by its scale, by the speed at which they have infiltrated the border, going into Israeli towns. There are reports of street-to-street -street fighting. And from talking to people, Palestinians say they are celebrating. They feel emboldened. They've been able to attack Israel and that they really feel that this is the beginning of change in the Middle East, that there is now a major shift. They say that this is a direct result of the attacks of the way the Palestinians are treated, of what they describe as Israeli aggression. So after years and years of anger, that anger has now exploded and the violence will most likely escalate because Hamas's military leader has called on other Muslim nations. He's asking Lebanon, Iran, Syria, Yemen and Iraq to join the fight. So this has the potential to escalate today. All right, Lama, thank you so much for that.
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.